Hey guys, how you doing and welcome back to another quest battle on Total War Warhammer. Now, it has been a while since I've uploaded a quest battle on this game. In fact, I've only uploaded one so far and that was Gar Moaz, uh, one of Carl Franz's quest battles. So I thought, you know what, it's about time I got another one out to you. So today, we're going to be doing Prince Sigvald, the Magnificent quest battle of Silver Slash. Now, I wanted to do this a couple of days ago because I saw on Reddit someone posted the pre-battle speech that he gives to his troops. And it is absolutely, just like his name, magnificent. If you've ever seen or watched or played Medieval 2 and you've seen those pre-battle speeches, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because they are on par with them. It, 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 it is just awesome to uh, to listen to. Also, Creative Assembly, a couple of days after that, released a video showcasing the speech as well. So it is definitely worth a listen. So get yourselves nice and comfy and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. So the details behind this battle are that Prince Sigvald faces the forces of his father's brother gods once more. They send forth their most repellent and disgusting beasts in a fit of jealousy and spite. Sigvald's host must face these beasts and by doing so prove he is worthy of a silver of Slaanesh's very own blade. The enemy forces are another Chaos army led by a Chaos Lord with quite a lot of Forsaken units. Jesus! Some Gorbeach chariots and a couple of Howl cannons as well. And if that's not enough, we've got reinforcements expected for the enemy as well. So it's going to be quite a tough challenge for Sigvald. Can he survive? Well, let's find out. We're going to be playing it on hard difficulty, as we have done with the previous battles. So let's see how we can do, and I shall see you after that speech. Sickly, sinful spectacles stand. Shuffle, shamble, and saunter shamelessly in my scandalized sight. I suggest a solution. Surely such sedition should sour and succumb to Sigvold, the salacious, scandalous, and sensational servant of Slanesh! Son of Sukabai, scion of sordid acts and slayer of squalid serfs! See how I stroll, stride, swagger and swirl, spin, slash and stab at stupid, senseless scum! Soon they shall swoon, shall seek solace and death from sundry torments, wrought on them by my strategic, severing, scintillating shower of shivering strikes! Send for the sword! Summon Sliver Slash! So there you go, guys. That is the pre-battle speech. Pretty fantastic, wasn't it? I'm sure you enjoyed it like I did. It was awesome to hear. I think for some reason, he likes any words beginning with the letter S. It sort of slips off his tongue, basically. But there you go. Right, that is the pre-battle speech over and done with. Now let's concentrate on the main event, the battle itself. So we have got quite a lot of of experienced units at our disposal here. Look at this, we've got three gold chevron units. The only ones that aren't are Prince Sidvald himself, the sorcerer, and a unit of Howl Cannons. Apart from that, they're all three full gold chevron units. So we've got, as I say, quite a formidable force under our control today. So let's hope we can do them justice. So what I'm going to do is put these Chaos Warriors with Halberds in the center. They are very good uh, in terms of dealing with anti-large and also charge defense against large foes. So hopefully they can hold that center very well, deal with the pressure and then allow my other units to then sort of flank around the sides and put pressure on them from the rear basically. So that's the idea with them. So we'll put them into a group in the middle. Chosen, they're going to go on the left flank over here, so then sweep around that side. And they're going to do exactly the same with the three Chaos Warriors from the right-hand side. So be, it. so be it indeed. Group them to three. Then we've got these Chosen with Halberds as well. So they're going to do exactly the same. No, no, what these are going to do, sorry. On the left-hand side, far left, they're going to try and defend, hoping that the reinforcements come from this side. If they do... Perfect, because these units, these three units, can deal with, again, pressure from the left hand flank and hopefully hold them back for as long as possible. 
So we've got two units of gore beasts as well. One's going to go on the left, one's going to go on the right. The one on the right is going to go round the back and try and hit those Hal Cunning units from the rear of the enemies, obviously. And then this unit around here is going to try and deal again with the reinforcements that come in to the battle. So we've got Hal Cannon, Hal Cannon over there. Prince Sigvald with the wizard. I think the wizard is in the Law of Fire. Yes, he is. And then, as I say, Sigvald is down here. Look at his wonderful shield. Looks awesome. And his armor looking absolutely magnificent. So there you go. That is the man himself. Witness my beauty. Oh, what? Hello? Oh, yes. You are gorgeous. Yes, thank you. I've witnessed it. God almighty, where did that come from? Right, so that is the man himself. That's who we've got to protect and obviously keep alive for this battle. So let's start. Let's see what happens. So the enemy, as we know, bringing quite a lot of Forsaken units towards us today. Look at them. Oh my god, they are charging at us at full throttle. We've also got the Chaos Lord on a flying monster. The actual specified name of this flying monster is not something I know of. I'm sure you guys know exactly what it is though, so let me let me know down in the comments below. How cannons are firing. Oh lord. We're firing back as well. Some good shots on the enemy. Oh! Oh yes! Fired short and fired over. Great stuff. Right. Sorcerer, get forward a little bit because I want you to cast a vortex spell, a flame storm on this group there. Please do it now. Oh no, you're not going to get in time. Cancel it, cancel it, negative, cancel it. Wait for them to come further in before we initiate it. Reinforcements approaching. Oh, from the left hand side. Great stuff. So we should be able to uh, deal with them accordingly with our, our chosen. Um, right, go for it. Now you've got them a bit closer to you. Go, 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 go. Right there would be wonderful. Please, 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 please. Summon it now. Now, 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 now. Yes! Clipped a few of them. Done bugger all, I think, in killing them, but never mind. Right, that's good. We're getting now pinned down. Here we go. Brace yourselves, lads. Go into guard mode. Now we've got them pinned down. We can go for a burning or bolts of burning spell at the back here. Get some taken down. Come on. Now, 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 now. Boom. Yes. Yes, that's it. Good stuff. Where's the Chaos Lord himself, the enemy? Chaos Lord, that is. I want to see him in battle. I want to know, sort of know where he is. Because I think he'll try and go for Prince Sigvald if I'm not too um, mistaken. Where the hell is he? God, we're taking some pressure already here. We need to move in. Ah, oh, no, I forgot to take my Gorbis down. Balls. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's there in the centre. He's there in the bloody centre. Sigval, get in there. See what you can do. So those, yeah, those Chaos Warriors are taking immense pressure in the middle. Hopefully they can do their themselves proud and hold for as long as possible. Left hand side doing okay. We've repelled those units back. So let's get this unit to go around the side as well. Lord's under attack. Yes, we know. Go across to support the Gorbis over there. These two units need to go across and deal with these. Inset them. Inset them. Go across, go across, go across. Oh, how cannons need to stop firing for a little bit. We don't need any friendly fire. That's not what I want to see. Okay, so we've engaged. All units are engaged. Can we do them justice? Can we grind out the victory? It's going okay at the moment. How's Sigvald doing? He's doing alright. We need to take down that uh, legendary lord though. We need to take him down right now. So, what can you do, Mr. Sorcerer? Can you give me anything, any spell that would do the job? That again, behind on that unit, please. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, intercept them. Pin him down. Bang. Great anti charge there. Yes. Forsaken flying back. Oh, here comes the second wave of reinforcements. So we know exactly what's coming into the battle now. Get out of there. Try and get that unit of foul cannon. Come on. Don't get bogged down. Right on side doing okay. We're putting a lot of pressure on these units here. We're starting to see them wavering now. So pull these across. Start 
sort of enveloping the center. Oh, flipping heck. One of our units is wavering. That's not good. How's Sigval doing? Keep a very careful eye on him because we need to make sure he does not fall. Where's the legendary lord? Oh, he's over there. Right, pull him out a bit. Okay, pull back across. How are we doing over here? Not too bad. Oh, stop retreating, lads. Come on, you've got to hang in there. You've got to hang in there for as long as possible. Sigvaldi is being surrounded. They're trying to pin him down, the Forsaken unit here. I feel like he's... He's capable of holding his own, though. Right, come back across me to reform. To deal with his third wave that's coming in now. Okay, there, okay. Just literally surround them. Push in at middle. Finish them off. We need to take them down now before it's too late. How cannons? I think you need to get yourselves back onto the equipment to start with. What are you? Chaos Warriors and Halberds. God, you've taken a battering. Right, Gorbis. Gorbis, Gorbis, Gorbis. Go across here. It's been wiped out. That's not what I want to hear. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We need to literally form the line again. Okay, where is Sigvald? He's over here. Come across, come back. Need to, as I say, reform this line. Then we can receive this second army. So it's a third army that's coming in. Prepare ourselves, and we should be okay. Try and get that legendary lord down, how can, and see what you can do. Gorbis go on the left hand side to flank. That how cannon's gone. Nothing we can do about that now. Oh god, right, come back over here to support Sigval, please. Okay. We should be alright now. Let's get the Gorbis to go across now to reinforce. To recharge them if we can. We're doing alright though, we're holding strong here. I'm not overly concerned because I think. Oh, great family fire on the back of their units. As long as Sigval's okay, we, we're okay. Right, the Legend Lord is now going. He's completely wavering, hopefully. Do not flee. Do not flee at all. Come on. Forsaken are absolutely deadly units. You cannot leave them unchecked for long. They will absolutely wreck you. I can't. Oh, in fact, I have got them in my campaign now, and I'm very ha happy I have because they are just awesome. Come on, come on, come on. This right flank is getting a lot of pressure on it. We need to push across now to finish them off because the center is doing okay. I'm not concerned about the center at all. Pull away from them. Come on, come on, come on, get across. Big Val, we need to go in there now. This has been a tough battle, I can tell you that. A very tough battle. Balance of power is still 50 50. Enemy troops have got less men though now, so that's good. Did they have more to start with? Yes, they did have more to start with, so we've grinded that down. Forsaken, yeah, they're going there. Corbys, keep them busy. Yeah, keep driving them away, Chaos Sorcerer. God, Sigvar's got to hang in there. I'm a bit concerned about him now. Right, you guys come across. Keeping my eye on him because his health is dropping here. Right, get out of there now you can because... Let these Chaos Warriors take over. And then keep him alive, keep him alive, keep him alive, keep him alive. Keep him alive. 
Hopefully now, even though he's there, not fighting, you can still keep their leadership up, which is what I want to do. And keep the units from wavering anymore. Oh my god, it's been an absolute grind this battle has. What a what a fantastic clash though. Worthy of Prince Sigveld the Magnificent himself. Okay, let's start driving them from driving them from the battlefield now. You keep going with him, Sigveld. Lead your men to victory. Go get these units of hard cannons now. Finish them off. Stop any units from reinforcing, or so we, I should say, regrouping. Okay, they've done all right. Gorbys get across here just to finish them off there. Oh my lord, this has been incredible. Stop bloody fleeing, lads! Sick how they always come back, it's really annoying because you think you've got them taken down and then suddenly, boom! Regrouped. This is going to be a Peric victory, I can tell you that, this has been unreal. Un bloody real. Right, drive them away. Keep going forward though, keep pushing forward. Cool beast chariots there back in the mix. God damn it. Right, go on Chosen, can you deal with them? They're going to mow you down. They're not anti-large. Which is the problem. We're finally getting to the Hal Cannons though now. Victory's in our grasp. Here we go. Come on, the final moments of this battle are upon us. Let's see the job done. Sorry I haven't been zooming in that much with this battle. I wanted to do more, but obviously you have to micro so much. It's important you keep your head on. Oh, them flying backwards then. Right, come on! Hack him down. Get the penis cannon taken. Slay every there is Sigval going straight in. First hand. Oh yes, poked them to death. Flying backwards. <laughs> yes. Come on, we've got this one now. Look at that. Oh my god, we had 162 men left. Bloody hell. And already still units are wavering when we've got victory in our grasp. What a battle. Awesome stuff. Come on. Yes. They've gone now. Surely they've gone. It's over. Give up. Oh, yes. Come on, let's have a cheer. When we've got this victory, let's have a cheer from Sigvald. Who the hell's left? Oh, this unit over here of Hal Cannon. They should know when they're beaten. Dear Lord. Come on, that's it. Done. Victory. Surely. Yes, there we go. Getting a bit worried then. I thought it was going to be no victory. So, yeah, that is it. Victory. Definitely a perfect victory. Yeah, surprise, surprise. That was tough. That was very tough. Let's have a look at the statistics before we go. So, yeah, we had 178 remaining. Wow. Wow, we. In terms of our performance individually, 119, 155 for the Chosen with Halberds. Yeah, they, they, they had a very good performance all round, I think. If they solid statistics from everyone there they lost a lot of units though but we were facing off against quite a lot of uh, troops very capable troops as well i mean look at them they had a load of forsaken very experienced units as well the that that army wasn't that good though that again was the forsaken once more very experienced and very very deadly but in the end we grinded out the victory prince sigvald survives 
He remains as st stupendous as he was before. I try to get as many S's in as I can here, you know what I mean, guys? But yeah, you get what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed the battle today. If you did, please do drop it a like. I shall be back, you know, sooner now with some more quest battles than I was before, so do look out for them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell.